Good evening. I am Dr. Bill Ayers, Interim Dean and Chief Administrative Officer of Kent State University at Ashton-Dewar. On behalf of Dr. Todd Dykin, President of Kent State University and the Board of Trustees, it is my privilege to welcome you to the Kent State University at Ashton-Dewar 2023 Fall Commencement. And hello to all the family and friends watching via live stream, assuming we've got that working right now. Before we begin, please silence your mobile devices. And since you're all standing, will you join us uh, in the national anthem? The flag is located behind me. Bob West and Stephen Lockmuller, and our Director of Business Affairs, Mr. David Schultz, for all of their hard work in preparing the campus and this gymnasium for tonight's event. Thank you to Bob and Steve and Dave, wherever you are. I know they're around here somewhere. At this time, I'd like to introduce our platform party. Seated beside me is our Assistant Dean, Mr. Kevin Deemer, and Dr. Ann Abraham, the Chair of the Ashtabula Campus Faculty Council. I would also like to introduce two members from the Ashtabula Area College Committee Advisory Board, President, Board President Scott Waldega and Amanda Tirada. Thank you both for being here with us this evening. Students, let me be the first, but not the last, to congratulate you on this major milestone in your lives. I know that tonight has not come without sacrifice. Many of you have worked full-time, part-time, sometimes it probably felt like both. Many of you have been raising families, and some of you have experienced major life events, all while taking classes, yet you persevered. You should be very proud of yourselves. Congratulations. I also want to thank and congratulate the parents, grandparents, spouses, children, aunts, uncles, and significant others who supported the graduates on their journey. Thank you all for your support of them and congratulations as well to you. The graduates also recognize the support they have been given by the faculty and staff on campus. I'd like to ask the faculty and staff to stand so we can applaud the work they do on a daily basis to support our students. Thank you. 
I would like to acknowledge the leadership, financial assistance, and support provided by the Ashtabula Area College Committee, our Campus Advisory Board. The full members of the committee are listed in your program. I would like to ask Scott Waldega, President of the College Committee, to come forward now to present the awards given by the College Committee. Good evening. The College Committee provides Academic Achievement Awards, which are granted to students who meet the following criteria. Number one, complete at least 60 hours of credit. Number two, 45 of those hours must be taken here at the Ashtabula campus. And number three, a grade point average of at least 3.7 as of the prior grading period. These are the scholars. As I read your name, please stand and remain standing. Dustin Booty. Brianna Cole, Harrison Coy, Alexis Flasher, Meredith Furtaw, and Elizabeth Huey. Congratulations on this award. You will receive a certificate in the mail. Thank you and congratulations. At this time, I would like to introduce our student speaker, Kelly Bongiorno. Kelly is a non-traditional student. She started her college career at Edinburgh University, working on a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, where she met her soldier husband in 1987. Together, they adore their five children, and their children's spouses and find themselves increasingly controlled by their five grandchildren. While working at Penn State Barron's School of Science as an administrative assistant, Kelly completed an associate degree in the science of nursing at Kent State Ashtabula, graduating during the semester of COVID, spring of 2020. And in fact, I was chatting with her a little bit before the ceremony and she pointed out that was the year when there was no graduation ceremony like this. Nobody could come onto campus. Endoscopy and long-term care nursing have been her experiences as a registered nurse thus far, certified as a specialist in physiological fitness through the Human Potential Institute. Kelly has a keen interest in continuing her career in the field of mind-body integrative medicine and is pursuing course completion through the Institute of Functional Medicine and certification in mindfulness-based stress reduction from the University of Massachusetts. Completing a nurse practitionership degree is a future goal. Kelly has worked for many years as a tutor to dyslexic students at the Compass Reading Center in Erie, PA. With its commitment to books and lifelong learning, Chautauqua Institution in New York is a favorite destination for Kelly, and she is a graduate member of America's first and oldest book club, the Chautauqua Literary and Scientific Circle. The Binding Hearts Reading Circle is a branch of the CSLC that Kelly created with eerie friends and enjoys leading. Kelly also is a new member of the Chautauqua Women's Club and is appreciating attending the functions informational lecturers, and fundraisers organized by that group. Please help me in congratulating Kelly on receiving her bachelor's degree in nursing this evening, and please welcome her to the stage. Well, I'm excited to be here because, like Doctor said, I did not get to put my regalia on in 2020 and have this opportunity. To graduate is to take a step into a new degree. Together we breathe a collective sigh of relief on having reached this point in the timeline of our lives. It is a time to express gratitude and reverence for the privilege and opportunity that allow us such accomplishments and to send heartfelt thanks to those who made it possible for all of us. A time to raise a toast in acknowledgement and remembrance of the discipline it took to receive our diplomas. 
to give ourselves well-deserved credit for all of our diligence and serious study, to feel appreciation for the intentions we set and for the attention and effort we paid to be here today. We have arrived at a paradox. Commencement is at once a celebration of seeming opposites, of both an end and a beginning, a simultaneity. It is a time of change and conflicting emotions, release of tension at having reached a destination, and rise in anxiety about where we are going next, a synchronicity. Looking back into my nursing education here at Kent State Ashtabula, I was impressed in learning that a spirit of inquiry is foundational to the practice of nursing. Careful assessment and thorough research depend upon a willingness to find the truth. Albert Einstein knew the significance of spirit and its relationship to the movement of energy. Spirit creates frequency, chaotic or coherent. It is vibration information. He said that it was his spirit of relentless curiosity that created the force field that would lead to discoveries of invisible realities about the structure and the nature of the universe. Einstein advised the world to never stop questioning. Respect the journey is the title of this tribute. R-E-S-P-E-C-T -E -E provides perspective meaning to look back or to see again. Respect is an invitation to pay attention, a moral action, a transfer of energy, vibration. Journey means of the day, a point in time. And so a journey is the sum total of how individual days are spent. Today is a perfect point in time for conducting an assessment on ourselves, a personal research project to recollect the details in the background of our own journeys. Feedback that will inform next steps, graduations, and degrees. It is an exercise in awareness. We can all ask ourselves the question, where have I been? Looking back facilitates looking forward. Respecting one's journey with grace will reveal that growth has been cultivated along the way. Recently, I was able to witness an old friend, literally an old friend, a member of the greatest generation respect her journey of 100 years on this earth. Her name is Blossom McBriar, and it truly was her spirit of inquiry that kept her evergreen and blossoming her way through life. Blossom was awesome, spirited and wonderful. She saw life as being lived in layers and experienced in a, circle, in a series of circles of endings and beginnings, graduations and new degrees. Her life embodied her name. A master gardener with a thumb of green, she adored all the things that grow. She favored the rhododendron, which is called the queen of evergreen. Emerson loved them too, writing that their blossom was rival to the rose. Being transplants from the Himalayan mountains, they have no need to lose their leaves to conserve energy in cold weather, remaining evergreen throughout all the seasons of their lives. Like her beloved roadies, Blossom was the queen of evergreen. A class of 1945 Stanford graduate, she spent her days inquiring. Over the years, becoming an accomplished pianist, songwriter, singer, sculptor, painter, potter, canner, puzzler, investor, golfer, globetrotter, writer, chef, bird, community activist, historian, lover of world cultures, event planner, fundraiser, hostess, and the most voracious and avid of readers. Her storytelling, epic. Her door, door was always open. Her plates served warm. Her bridge game, expert. Her curiosity, captivating and contagious, ever willing to find out. I credit the Blossom Effect with inspiring the bravery I mustered to enroll at Kent Ashtabula as a non-traditional student. Her inquiring force was with me as I set off, shaking in my shoes to become an old new nurse. For my first class on this campus after a 30-year absence from college life, I had a Blossom-inspired notebook with me for encouragement, the cover of which read, you are never too old, to become what you could have been. 
In her last days, I was privileged and well prepared as a trained nurse to provide house calls, visits of care, a serendipity. By divine appointment, on the day she died at home, surrounded by a circle of compassion, I was present to listen to her heart with my stethoscope and to hold her hand. I am still listening to her heart and holding her hand. Before her departure, Blossom had conducted her own life assessment, recording a background history. She was able to remember, to put it all back together for prosperity. And so it was Blossom herself, appearing via video, who showed up to narrate her own celebration of life event. Who better to tell her story? She had been paying attention, respecting the journey. 1923 to 2023, a full circle, ends and beginnings indistinguishable, nothing created or destroyed, just changing forms. Blossom remains, her ashes scattered in her memorial gardens to begin again, dust to dust. Conclusions really are just introductions, revisited, reimagined, reformed, recycled, rewritten. Commencement is a merge point of end and beginning, a time for spiritual exercise and examination of consciousness, as St. Ignatius phrased it. Einstein realized the concept of spirit as a scientific fact, and he encouraged humanity to become conscious, to broaden its circles of compassion in order to generate a resonance of positive energy to feed the shared field to dismantle the optical delusions that cause blindness to realization. Genius. Perspective is everything. How we look always determines what we see. True scientists, being students eternal, welcome the responsibility of being proven wrong. In fact, they expect it. Being open to changing a closed mind requires a spirit of inquiry, a reminding. That is the profound impact of cultivating a spirit of inquiry, of curiosity, of respect. It allows us to get to know ourselves and the others better, and the invisible becomes visible. Inquiry is an act of humility, an antidote to a judgmental spirit of knowing it all, the gift of presence. After all, the truth is, as President Truman said it, it is what you learn after you know it all that counts. Keep inquiring. That's the spirit. Kent State Class of 2023, congratulations to us. Cheers to ends and beginnings and lifelong learning. May we all respect the journey, stay evergreen, and blossom on. Thank you, Kelly. At this time, I would like to invite our Faculty Council Chair, Dr. Ann Abraham, to the podium. Now, graduates, it's your time to shine. When your name is called, will the candidates for that degree please stand and remain standing? Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Candidates for the Bachelor of Integrative Studies. Candidate for the Bachelor of Business Administration in Accounting. Candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Candidate for the Bachelor of Arts in English. Candidates for the Associate of Applied Science in Radiological Technology. Candidates for the Associate of Applied Science in Physical Therapist Assistant Technology. Candidates for the Associate of Applied Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant. Candidates for the Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. Candidate for the Associate of Applied Science in Enology. 
Candidates for the Associate of Applied Business in Information Technology. Candidates for the Associate of Applied Business in Accounting. Candidates for the Associate of Arts. Candidates for the Associate of Science. Dr. Ayers, on behalf of the faculty on the Ashtabula campus of Kent State University and representing the faculty at the Kent campus, I am pleased to certify the candidates for the associate and bachelor degrees in their respective programs. Pending the posting of final grades, these candidates have satisfied all requirements for the listed degrees as determined by their academic apartments. Under the laws of the state of Ohio, that sounds official, doesn't it? And by designation of the Kent State University Board of Trustees and President Todd Dykin, I confer upon each of you the degree for which you have been certified, admitting you to all the rights and privileges which throughout the world pertain to those degrees. As your name is read by Assistant Dean Kevin Deemer, please come forward to receive your diploma cover. Today, you will also receive your Kent State University alumni pin. You've earned it through your hard work and dedication at Kent State Ashtabula. Wear it proudly as a member of the global family of Kent State alumni. Stay involved, stay connected. Your roots will always be here. After you receive your diploma and your pin, please receive to the photographer to my left for your photo to be taken, and then please proceed back to your seat around the back of the podium. Presenting the degree for the Associate of Science is Dean Bill Ayers. Abigail Escobales. Stacy Hine. Stacy also earned a certificate in hospitality management. The Associate of Arts degree, Jacob Dean. Jamie Hathy. Presenting the degree for the Associate of Applied Business and Accounting Technology is Associate Professor Daryl Uppel. Erica Kreitz. Rochelle Jones. Michaela Martone with distinction. Tiffany Wingard. <laughs> Tiffany also earned an Associate of Science degree. The Associate of Applied Business and Information Technology. Austin Eckenrod. <laughs> the Associate of Applied Science in Enology. Brian Kincaid. <laughs> Presenting the degree for the Associate of Applied Science in Nursing is Senior Program Director for Nursing and Allied Health, Dr. Julie Sanita. Ashley Abenmark. <laughs> Thomas Day. Elizabeth Huey with distinction. Jonathan Nam with distinction. Corey Mraz. Katrina Phoenix. Lauren Sukolak. Yeah. 
Christine Wagonlander. Presenting the degree for the Associate of Applied Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant is Program Director Julie Maribel. Alexis Fleischer with distinction. Larissa Lindsay. Mackenzie Morin. Dustin O'Dell. Rosalind Wright. <laughs> Presenting the degree for the Associate of Applied Science in Physical Therapist Assistant is Program Director Tiffany Kiphart. Charlene Huffman with distinction. <laughs> Dominique Nickens. Tiffany Rux. <laughs> Presenting the degree for the Associate of Applied Science in Respiratory Therapy is Program Director Dr. Yvonne George. Yanira Alvarado. <laughs> Caitlin Brown. Janarin Havens. Erda Calame. Taylor Keating. Maria Miller. Caitlin Sturgill. Ryan Whitehead. Polly Yeeter. Presenting the degree for the Bachelor of Arts in English is Senior Lecturer Beth DeVore. Allison Rees. Allison also earned a Bachelor of Arts in Communications. Presenting the degree for the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology is Dr. Brian Jones. Brianna Cole, summa cum laude. Meredith Furtaw, summa cum laude. Danielle Melnick, cum laude. The Bachelor of Business Administration. Melissa Sanders, summa cum laude. The Bachelor of Integrated Studies. Harrison Coy, summa cum laude. Janine Kyle, cum laude. The Bachelors of Science in Information Technology. Jacob Blair. Dustin Buddy, summa cum laude. Paige Manis. Alexander Pulaski, cum laude.
the Bachelors of Science in Nursing. Kelly Bongiorno, cum laude. Make sure everybody gets a good picture. <clears throat> My sincere congratulations to you all. Would the graduates please stand? And now, a moment you've been waiting for, you may now move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your mortar board. Congratulations. Please be seated. We're going to make you get up again in a minute. You can sit down. I want to congratulate you once again for taking advantage of the opportunities that Kent State University at Ashtabula offers. Our mission at Kent State is to transform lives through the power of education. Now, this is your mission, too. Take the experiences, wisdom, and knowledge you've gained and make your communities better. I want to leave you with the words of South African President and Nobel Peace Prize recipient Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Go make the world a better place. Before we close our celebration, I would like to thank the staff for all of the work they put into making tonight's ceremony special, and extra special thanks to my assistant, Becky Harvey. As we conclude this commencement ceremony, Please rise as you are able through the recessional in honor of our 2023 graduates. Good night. <laughs>